Hello, my name is Billy Porter, and I'm an activist and proud member of the LGBTQ community, and it is a privilege to join you today. This evening, President Trump will be addressing a joint session of Congress, the Supreme Court, his cabinet, the nation, and the world. I'm here with Logo to offer up the LGBTQ state of our union, reflect on the past year, and look forward to the year ahead. While our rights are under threat and the sanctity of identities is in peril, let me be clear, the state of our union is strong. Last month, we celebrated the legacy of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Each year we offer up Dr. King's inspiring quotes, but it's crucial that we take the time to consider what they really mean. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. As LGBTQ people, we face hate every day due to the simple fact of our existence. The Human Rights Campaign reported that in 2018, no fewer than 29 transgender souls, mostly trans women of color, lost their light to violence. We will try to do right by them, to say their names, so that their deaths may not be in vain. According to the Anti-Violence Project, the severity of hate violence against LGBTQ people is increasing 40% of LGBTQ survivors of hate violence sustained an injury in 2007 compared to the 31% in 2016. 42% reported seeking medical attention in 2017 compared to the 23% in 2016. 27% reported that weapons were used in 2017 compared to the 13% in 2016. And as the attack on our brother Jesse Smollett shows, violence can touch our lives, no matter who knows your name. How do we fight this hate? With love. We must continue to demonstrate our love for each other. Love is strength, strength we must have to fight for our integrity and for our very lives. We will fight hate with solidarity by standing up for our siblings around the world. We stand with our siblings in Chechnya, where a crackdown on the LGBT community has resulted in 40 people being detained in recent months and at least two being killed. We will stand with our siblings in Brazil, where a rash of anti-queer violence has been compounded by the presidential election of a far-right President Jair Bolsonaro, who has a history of homophobic, racist, and sexist comments, and who is enacting policies that leave LGBTQ Brazilians fearing for their rights, their freedom, and their safety. We will fight hate by sharing their stories so the world may never turn a blind eye to injustice. In the words of Bayard Rustin, Dr. King's brother in the struggle for civil rights, when an individual is protesting society's refusal to acknowledge his dignity as a human being, his very act of protest confers dignity on him. And we will fight hate with our voices we are living with an administration that is seeking to erase our very existence, but we won't let them. We must loudly and proudly declare we are here through the banning of transgender service members. We are here through the violence enacted by hate speech. We are here, and if the victories of the last year prove anything, we ain't going no damn way. In November of this past year, America elected the most diverse Congress in history with a record number of LGBTQ candidates seeking and winning office. Jared Polis of Colorado became the first openly gay man elected governor in these United States. And you better believe we're coming for that White House and we're gonna paint it rainbow. Pete Buttigieg 
has become the first ever openly gay Democratic presidential candidate, joining a strong crop of Democrats ready, willing, and able to throw down with 45. On TV, on film, and in music, we are showing up and showing out. From Janelle Monet snatching an Album of the Year Grammy nomination for her queer magnum opus, Dirty Computer, to the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts, and Sciences, serving us the queerest best picture nominees in its 90 plus year history, to the groundbreaking show Pose, giving voice to a community often silenced. We are in front of and behind the cameras, and increasingly, we are the authors of our own stories. Looking forward, 2019 promises to be a year of celebration. This summer, on the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Rebellion, the United States will host World Pride for the first time in New York City. We will continue to carry on the legacies of our elders, of Marsha P and Sylvia, of Baldwin and Bayard, of Harvey, Larry, and Miss Major, we will continue to come together to acknowledge and embrace our intersectional community and to push for equality and justice for all. Though darkness may seem to overshadow the progress we've made, we must not let it snuff our light out. Love will and love must keep us united. Only with the strength from love can we continue to forge ahead. Make no mistake, our best days are ahead of us. Onward and upward. God bless our LGBT community and God bless the United States of America. Thank you.